Here we have Jeb, patient, patient Jeb. Jeb's been with us for a while, um, uh, about a month now. He's a and here we have Becky. Becky's a playful little girl. Becky's also spayed. Purdue came Monday and spayed and neutered all of our animals, so we got really lucky there. And, and Becky's also looking for a forever home. Deja. She's a Deja's a pit blend. Um, Deja is not available for adoption. Deja came to us with some uh, kennel issues, and we're working on some behavioral issues with her, and we're coming along swimmingly, aren't we? You can go ahead and take care of them as far as outside, as long as you go ahead and socially interact with your pets. Um, Control. Um, he's not available for adoption. He was neutered by Purdue. He's just a puppy. We think he's about eight to ten months old. And he's just, uh, pretty soon he'll be ready for his, look for his forever home. The question we asked was, truth or fiction? It is unhealthy for male cats to eat tuna. The answer is fiction. Dr. Quinlan explains. She is playful. She does just fine with dogs and cats, um, as well as kids. Um, she, we assume that she has Bombay in her because of the color of her eyes. Okay, here we have Odin and Buddy. Od Odin is the one with the white paw up on Buddy's back. Odin came in, they both came in astray from the public and Odin had a couple of others that I was fostering at the time and